very, this is going to be a quick one tonight. I'm a bit overdosing. Three nights running is a bit much. I just wanted to do a quick check in. Smoking my Bayard. And with probably the first of two mistakes for this evening. As you know, I've been doing the English and Balkans while I've been drinking, and that certainly helped. And I thought I'd break with that tonight because I've had some Germain's Rich Dark Flake, the UK equivalent of Stonehaven. It's been in a jar for months. So I thought I'd take a chance. It's biting a bit on my tongue. That's my problem with Virginia's because I'd always seem to get them burning so hot. But hey ho, we'll persevere and hopefully won't suffer too much tomorrow. Cheers, happy Sunday. Happy snowy Sunday for many of us here in the UK. Remains to be seen whether it sticks around or not. Can't remember when we last had a white Christmas. Now the music. This is one I've dug out of the archives. Goodness me. It's been well over 40 years since I played this. But I put it on because I had in mind Johan. The Mindful Pipe. And I know his love of Irish culture. And this, I'm pretty slouched here. I've got to get a different chair. It's an album called The Tame by an Irish band called Horse Lips. 1973 this came out <coughs> it's a concept album and if you like it's a cross between prog rock and celtic folk you could only get away with that in the early 70s so you've got to think of like a marriage an unholy alliance if you like between clan ad the chieftains and pink floyd The glue's come apart on my album. There's a bunch of Irish faces if ever I've seen them. I'm not sure I'll be playing it again. And I'm not sure what Johan will think of it. This is one of the more Celtic tracks, but there are definitely, in other, on other tracks, it does veer very much into prog rock territory. But there you go. I thought Johan might let, like it anyway. Bits like this in the last track I do really like. Some of the rest sounds a bit dated. Ah, uh, but my, I mentioned my first mistake was my tobacco. Feeling a bit melancholy this evening. And that is very much due to, I mean, it's a question of be careful what you wish for. I've been wanting to get all my old vinyl back. And I've got, and it turns out I haven't even got all of it. I've still found there's some missing. So I've been trawling through it and listening to stuff. And I've said before, you know, music kindles memories. Sometimes, you know, the memories. Depending on what mood you're in, they're not memories that you really want to rekindle. And, you know, so listening to some of my old stuff from the 70s and 80s. can't help but be transported back to a different time a different time in your life 
and so it was with me and you know you I put on an album and it sort of brought back past relationships and that incredible feeling you have when you're young and I, I don't know whether people still get it when they're old but certainly when you're young when you fall in love with someone and they're in love with you and it's just like there's nothing else like it in the world and you just live for each other and obviously understandably the older you get you realize that's gone forever and not coming back and so all you have left are your memories But it's all part of life's rich pageant, you know, there's no point in being gloomy about it. It's nice to think about the past, but sometimes it's better not to dwell on it too much. Particularly in relation to comparing what you had in the past with what you've got now. It gets you nowhere, does it? So, there you go. What's done is done. Life goes on. And so I think I'll call it a halt. This is an under 10 minute video. Make the most of it. <laughs> the boy's asleep down by my feet. He's never seen snow that often. He's only seen it a few times. We really rarely get it down here in London and the South East. And the strangest thing of all was um, I met up with my girls yesterday and we bought a Christmas tree. It's over there. I'll show it off when it's all decorated. At the moment, it's just um, in the pot waiting for them to come over tomorrow and decorate it. And so when I got home with it yesterday, I dragged it up and left it by the front door and then it snowed overnight and it was covered with snow. It was on a raised up bit opposite my front door, there's some steps. And so it got covered in snow. And when I opened the blinds this morning, the boy went very peculiar. He was running up to the window, having a look at it and then backing off and then going back and looking again one foot always raised up, ready for fight or flight, backing off, then he started barking at it. <laughs> the strangest thing I've ever seen. And then when I took him out for the walk, I opened the front door and he wouldn't go out. And I had to go out and get this tree and shake all the snow off so you could see that it was just a lump of wood, you know, a tree all wrapped up in netting. And that was the only way he'd come out. Unless we're going back to, um, you know, the old what, Mark, who's your piper raised up, the, like the hidden people or whatever. Whether he was seeing something with his doggy eyes that I couldn't see. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I haven't said it's going to be under 10 minutes. It's nearly not. So now I'm checking out. Have a great week, everyone. Look forward to speaking to you again next week. And um, yeah. Slante. Hello.